I think you're physically impossible. With somebody who loves me. I guess I have to find somebody. Jeez. You, you're so rude. It is physically impossible for you to start the show without you making some kind of noise. You can't just like say hi. Uh, yeah, boring. Snooze fest. <laughs> Sorry. You just said you're real tired. I got to keep you awake. I am. Oh, my goodness. But let's let's uh, let's play some bets on how far into the show it'll be before you knock your water over and spill it everywhere. <laughs> what is up, everybody? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. What's Wednesday? Wednesday. I'm gonna punch her today. <laughs> She's being like extra, extra today. I ha hey, you're like low energy, so <laughs> I have to I have to carry the show now. When you go like three nights in a row barely sleeping. What's Wednesday? Wednesday is our all day virtual boss up and list day. Uh, it is a virtual listing party that we hold in the boss Facebook group, which is the link is down below. If you're not in the boss Facebook group, you really should be. You miss uh, it out. Yeah, it's a great group. We share a lot of information, a lot of uh, knowledgeable sellers, and we like to help new sellers uh, kind of like we do on our show. Uh, so it's a pretty cool group. If you're mm -hmm. not in there, you should be. And if you're not in there, why are you not in there? Yeah, I mean, I get it if you don't do Facebook. Some people are. Yeah, like, we have some people. We have some friends that don't do Facebook at all. But yeah. uh, so we go in there every Wednesday and kind of check in with our virtual coworkers and set our goals for the day. Sometimes mm -hmm. your goals for the week. Then it's kind of like uh, you know, hanging out with your virtual coworkers. And at eleven o'clock every Wednesday, we do this little break. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Mm -hmm. And here mm -hmm. we are. Allison said it's break also time. boss up and get a massage day. Oh, Allison, I didn't, I didn't know that. I would be there. Let me tell you, I need a massage. Yeah, I would have gone with you. Yep, yep. Uh, so yeah, so you you've been having some. You're like the worst when it comes to insomnia. I am. I have. I have. You know, if anybody else suffers from insomnia, then I know that they know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I have no problem at all. Actually, when we first started dating, I slept like a baby for like mm -hmm. nine months straight, and then the insomnia started to come back. Um, and then you know I'm old and menopause. That's true. And, and insomnia. She's it's you know. Old. She's pretty listen. Old. Sometimes, you know, I can fall asleep, no problem, 11, 12 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. I'm up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and that's it, and I'm up. Yeah. I cannot go back to sleep. So it's been me the last three nights. So if I'm really low energy, it's because I am exhausted right yeah. now. I wake up at, like, 3 in the morning, and I go, I look over, and I go, what? And then I'm like, meh. And I get up, go to pot, go potty, come get back in the bed, and you're, like, reading on your thing. But, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's um, pretty bad. Yeah. I can't do Benadryl, Candace. Uh, Benadryl has the opposite effect on me as it does to a lot of people. It kind of buzzes me, so it doesn't work for me. And I've tried, um, I don't want to do medication to sleep, although I know it works for a lot of people, but I've tried everything over the counter. And the only stuff that really works is the stuff that's like the NyQuil or whatever, but then you wake up the next day mm -hmm. and I have full foggy medicine head for like 12 hours. Medication affects me really very, very strongly. Uh, one way or the other. So I'm just, I'm terrible yeah. with it. Sometimes I help out and I just like kind of hold a pillow over her face for a couple minutes. Right. Five minutes. Puts her right out. Yeah. Yeah. See, Barbara Benadryl makes me hyper. It doesn't yeah. really make me hyper, but it makes me feel like I'm hyper. Like I feel like um, I, what I imagine speed would feel like, you know, yeah. heart races and and uh, it's just not cool for me. So, so uh, anyway. Rick, Rick Fever is in the chat. He says he's, he was up listening till 4 a.m. What? Woke up at 11 and is listing some more now. It's because so, he got so many good things this week, apparently. Seriously, yeah. So, so Rick, Thrift Fever, I don't know if you've looked at our show description today, but if you click on the little thing that says show more, you might see something you like in there. Uh, I actually put the link to Rick's YouTube channel, mm -hmm. Thrift Fever, um, you know, he's, he's got, he just started out. I mean, he, I think it's, he's had it going for like a couple of months now, but there's only a handful of videos. I only um, saw yesterday, the one that you did yeah. yesterday. Uh, that was my first one that I've watched. And what we wanted to say is I was driving and Katie had it playing so I could listen to it. Uh, and we've talked, both talked before. We very rarely watch other YouTubers. We do mm -hmm. here and there when we can, but I'm one of those people that I, I, I can't do it in the background because I want to stop and watch. Right. And I, that means I can't get any work done. Um, but what I want to say about Rick is, first of all, Rick is not a, a new seller. He's been doing this for a while, but he's, he's, his goal is to go full-time by his birthday, which is in September, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
So he's going to retire and then work full time for himself, um, which I think is a great goal. But so he's, he's hitting fifty five, and, and yep. this is and his he's uh, and he's he's working really hard. But he is a very knowledgeable seller. And I'm not blowing smoke up your butt, Rick, but it's on it. He's a very knowledgeable seller. He sells a lot of the same things that I sell or I would pick up. Um, but we were I was listening to the to the show as we were driving. And what's really good. <laughs> he says, OMG, thanks so much. I'm honored. But more importantly, why was Vicky driving? <laughs> because I was basically I was in the middle of doing something. And occasionally I can I can guilt her into driving. Because yeah, we were going across town for something she needed to take care of. Yeah. And so I'm like, you're driving us. I'll drive us tonight, but you can drive. But continue. So uh, what what I like about Rick's show is uh, he did a haul video, which was the video that I we were watching or listening to. I was listening to. Katie was watching. Um, first of all, he has some great stuff. I mean, he's his goal is average sale price of like 60 or 65 bucks, which is a, a lofty goal, but a good goal. So he picks really good stuff. He has what, what we call and what he calls himself the eye which he, he knows what uh, what to look for and how to look for it. Even if he doesn't know, mm -hmm. he can tell quality, which is super important, having instinct and having that eye. But when he's doing his thrift haul and he's talking about it, he's not he does a lot of like what Katie and I do. We're not going to tell you like just what we bought and what we paid for it and what we hope to make for it. It's why we bought it. Mm -hmm. And he does that too. So he explains the items and and all any, anyway, it's just, I, I Bottom line, if bottom you, line, you're it's you're you only had a few videos. It's that one is the only one I watched. Yeah. It's really good, and I'm not just saying that. It's yeah. really good content, and uh, keep it up because I think that if you keep it up like that, you're going to do really well. So, guys, I just put the link over in the chat, and I'm doing it again. And for those of you watching um, later, it's down in the description. Seriously, go um, go subscribe to Rick's channel, Thrift Fever, because honestly, he really does. He explains uh, his whole his whole approach is he's similar to us, looking for a higher average sale price. I think his goal is like sixty five dollars. Um, so you're going to learn a lot about brands and he does do a really good job of explaining, um, what showing to look the detail, for. what to look for, what the prices are. Yeah, he's really good. So, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is we had somebody, uh, that you referred to us through another group, apparently that, uh, lives in Las Vegas and he knows you from, um, another group and he actually came to our meetup last yeah. night his name's larry and uh what's up larry if he's watching hey larry <laughs> he's he so he came to our house we have our meetup every tuesday every the last tuesday of every month we have it at the house and uh he came last night and it was he's super nice so i'm glad he came and i and hopefully he'll he'll come more he'll come yeah. back we didn't scare him away yeah for sure so one last time guys go subscribe to thrift fever rich channel watch the latest video especially if you you know, a lot of the stuff he was showing isn't stuff that I sell, but I'm pretty, I'm a little bit more unique in that I'm very stuck in my little narrow niche. Um, but every single thing that he mentioned is something I would have picked up. Yes. And every time, because I'm I'm talking, of course, as, as I'm listening to you, every time the number that you're giving as the target number of what you're going to sell something for, I would say it out loud before yeah. you. So like we, you de you definitely have like the same wavelength as me as, mm -hmm. as far as uh, you guys what are like I thrifting soulmates. We probably are very be. connected. <laughs> um, okay, so next up, next thing I wanted to say, to say and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. You guys, it is June 26th. It is almost the end of uh, the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just about Ju July 1st starts the third quarter. Um, so what that means is if you have a store where you get a uh, a free you know shipping coupon. Um, you need to use it if you haven't already used it before July 1st comes around because it's going to expire. And I know a lot of people, they're like mm -hmm. new store owners and they don't realize, they, they assume they're going to get an email and they don't realize it. And then they're like, wait, I never got my shipping coupon. So guys, real quick. They don't tell you about it. You got to know where to look You just got to know it. where to look for it. So guys, uh, if you're on your seller hub and you are on the overview page, you'll see there's a little section called selling tools. It might be in a different place on your page, but it should be on there. Um, and right here it says manage store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on manage store. Um, and then that's going to take you uh, over to this screen. And I scroll down and you can see right here, it says subscriber discounts and you click on that. And I'm actually going to, um, hold on a second. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here. You should be able to click on the spot. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the, uh, in the chat right here. But anyway, I'm on subscriber discounts. Um, give me a second here. Let me let me just pop this back up here. Okay. So and then all you do is you click on this uh, see this uh, see details, and it gives you your coupon code. I'm one of those bad people. I 
forget to do it because I have I have take stuff it right now. Screen before somebody uses your coupon. Well, I'm gonna use it right now. Don't use my coupon, guys. Um. Anyway, uh, so go ahead. You look at me. <laughs> Damn, she's shaking her head at me right now. Um. So anyway, you want to go ahead and make sure that you use that right away. All right. So I'm gonna stop the screen share. Okay. And you can go ahead. And now I'm gonna go order my shipping supplies before somebody steals my my discount. Okay, guys, don't steal my discount because I will be very sad. All right. Tingling. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's important because a lot of people think they forget about it. And uh, let's see what else. Last night we had our meetup. We had uh, 14 people. And one of our people, we had one of our stranger friends come into town. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know it sounds weird, but we like we let her stay with us. We She was coming from out of town. We're like, why don't you mm -hmm. want to stay with us? She was trying to find a hotel local. Like, well, we feel like we know you just whatever yeah whatever so sandra uh wicked 13 vintage sandra uh came and uh stayed with us last night and came to our meetup and mm -hmm. she was meeting up with some friends in town for breakfast her so she's already our cousins uh so she's already gone but we had a really nice time got together and she came to our meetup and we went and got tacos after. tacos we love tacos so it was a good time it was a good time we had uh 14 people and some people brought me birthday gifts and what Corey uh made me oatmeal raisin cookies which are my favorite and mm -hmm. she won't even eat any of them mm -hmm. anyway it was a good time i had fun mm -hmm. and uh we talked about uh ebay open it was pretty much what we talked about it was ebay open we had kind of a an open round table discussion just to what are the current concerns we touched on dim weight a little bit mm -hmm. and stuff like that so yeah we had a good time so uh what about everybody else what's uh yeah, what's happening guys what's, what's how's everybody feeling with our <laughs> Allison, it'll still go to your address. I'm getting you tape. <laughs> yeah, because I think you actually can't use somebody else's uh, coupon or code. That's right. That's why anytime somebody sells somebody their code or their oh, they have supplies, to log in. They have to order it for them and then have it shipped. So. I didn't think of that. See, so and you not even trusting our viewers. Hey, it's not that I'm not trusting all of our friends in chat. I'm trusting the lurkers that might be watching that would do that just to mess with you. Okay, guys, I've got 20. We're, I'm going to get help from these guys. I'm going to get help. Okay, so I ordered my my small, uh, my like 10 by 12 and a half um, poly, poly bags. Those are what mm -hmm. I use for like t-shirts, anything that's like, you know, under a pound. Um, and then I ordered my 12 by 15, mm -hmm. which I use for um, larger items I want to send um, cubic. And I think that leaves me with about $25 left. Mm -hmm. So what what should I get? Tape. But I don't use tape. Okay. You want to steal my you want to steal my tape, don't I you? I already have a cake, a case and a half. I think I'm pretty good with tape and then uh, so I could get and tape. And the new coupon comes out and I'm I I have I've true. I'm overrun with uh supplies right now, actually. Yeah, I have like a lot of stuff. So, ooh, it's from this tape. Well, I guess I could be a little bit of the That's the tape, tape. you've got a water deck, water yeah. to use. I guess I, should, I can get like a little bit of this. <clears throat> 12 rolls. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, All right, so people are like sweating. We've got a little uh, a little super chat there from Frontier, Frontier Flipper. Flipper. Wow, I know the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Laying down the dollar super chat. Thanks, Frontier Flipper. We appreciate it. Um. All right, I'm just gonna finish this up because I'm already doing it. Why not, right? Whatevs. Whatevs. You do what you do. Um, okay, so we've got everybody seems to be sweating in Florida, is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Uh we've got Noel, Farm Girl, Scavenger in the house. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Taylor, T Taylor, mine said delivered, nowhere to be found. Uh see if it gets delivered today by some chance. And if not, definitely um I don't want to say call eBay because it's a third party company that ships you the shipping supplies, but send them a message, item not received, that type of thing, and, and deal with it that way because they will take care of you, especially if stuff gets damaged. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Um, I order $150 every quarter of stuff and I order tons of boxes. They ship everything in one big ass huge box. Like this box, I could fit in the box myself. Katie and I could both fit in the box. Mm -hmm. The guy comes off with the UPS truck and it must weigh a hundred pounds and it's huge i can't and of course they do free shipping i cannot imagine <laughs> what it is costing them to ship these boxes that way from across the country for me it's right in california yeah. i get my packages the very next day but for anyone else i don't even know i will say everything's priced up pretty high that's true it's true i mean well you know it's like if you 
like we we get our shipping coupons we get our shipping supply coupons so i get 150 because i have an anchor store and i think you do you do now too mm -hmm. um and so so it makes sense to buy the stuff and get it all ebay branded and stuff like that but if you were paying it's, it's probably double the price of what you can buy right because I buy my poly pink, mailers. I buy my pink poly mailers for le far less. Yes. So if you're paying out of pocket, you would get it elsewhere. Um, so I mean, I guess it, they can afford. I mean, when you think about how much the crazy amount of money that's being spent on with all these coupons, I mean, I don't yeah. know. So uh, okay, so Chris Brown, downtown Julie Brown's Chris Brown husband. Uh, her husband. We I, don't I know, think that's we should call him also downtown Chris Brown. Downtown Chris Brown. No, also downtown Chris Brown. Because he's also downtown with downtown Julie Brown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're on their way to Lake George, New York. Woohoo. That's going to be nice. Uh, let's see. A lot of people, Noel, are coming to eBay Open. Hopefully, you'll be there. I know you're going to be there, but I'm hoping that you will uh, come and watch our, our live show on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Uptown and Chris Brown. That's funny. And let's see, we've got, um, yeah. So again, you guys, so we're, uh, Nathan, you're not making it to open this year. What? No red Nickerson's oh, resales. I'm sad. sad. I'm sad. But guys for her, for you guys who are going to be here, whether you have eBay, uh, open tickets or not, do, don't forget. There's a lot of stuff going on. That you can still participate in the Monday night. Um, it's like the, I mean, some, there's one group that calls it the unofficial meet and greet, but they're really what it is. It's the unofficial meet and greet. Right. But that, but that's what they call it. There's like a, there's, there's a couple of hosts that host the group and they, they say it's the unofficial eBay meet and greet, but there are other groups that kind of are just like, yeah, we'll all be there too. Mm -hmm. Um, so like Casey rockstar flipper, we're there. So basically it's like, everybody's coming together at the Skyfall lounge. Um, and so that, I know the other group is starting at like seven. I don't know what time we'll be there. I'm it's sure seven -ish. Six, seven ish, six, seven, whatever. Um, so anybody can go to that. You don't have to, it's a, it's a public bar. You don't have to like have an eBay open ticket or right, nothing whatever. like that. So you should definitely come hang out with us at that. And then we're doing our Wednesday show live. We're going to be doing it with a live studio audience. So if you want to be there and guys, I'm going to have a second camera that's going to like run around the room. So you all can be like, I don't know, do the wave or something like that. And we're going to have awesome, awesome prizes. We're working on um, trying to get some special top secret prizes. Um, and we are super happy that we are going to have such a, it's a huge party suite, 3,600 square feet. Thanks to ridiculous. Mo. Uh, it's so that we're going to feel sad about going back to our regular old house. Right. And so we're going to have a big group of, um, there for our, our live show and anyone that wants to come. And uh, I think it's going to be our, our party central boss mm -hmm. suite. So I'm real excited about that. Nathan, I'm real sorry to hear about your mom. I hope she, I hope she feels better. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you're not going to be able to make it. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, Marie on Wednesday, we're not entirely sure because we need to figure out like how we're going to schedule it within like what, how exactly it's going to go. Um, but probably early afternoon, potentially it'll go into lunchtime. We might be having food there, but I, so we, we're not, we'll give you the details, but just assume the middle of the day on Wednesday and we will, um, we will absolutely week, post it in the group and we will talk about it. And not um, be like we do. Yeah. <laughs> as we do, as we do. Uh, so Did yeah. Do you want to talk about anything about open yet? Uh, open? no. Um, and so, but you guys should definitely be coming there. And then the next thing is, as far as this next weekend goes, as we said on our Sunday show, if you didn't watch our Sunday show, um, we are going to San Francisco this weekend. So we're leaving on Saturday morning um, and we're going to be in San Francisco for Sunday Pride with eBay. So we're going to be at, you know, hanging out with all the eBay people, um, eBay employees, other eBay sellers. Uh, we're going to, I think they have a float and we're going to be at the parade and doing mm -hmm. all, being all like gaining it up with eBay. It's going to be awesome. Um, we're super excited about it. And, uh, and so we're not going to have a Sunday show this Sunday, guys. But, but as a small consolation prize for those of you who do like to hang out with us on Sunday for our show, um, we are going to be doing day after tomorrow on Friday. We are going to be doing a special No Pants Friday After Dark edition. Um, I'm going to say uh, we don't have an exact time set up, but um, does that time work for you? That time works. For okay, me. so I know it'll be late for some of you guys, but 7 p.m. Pacific time, which will be 10 p.m. Eastern. So I know it's a little late, but it's going to be fun. We're just going to do an after dark edition, um, no pants Friday, day after tomorrow. Um, and we are going to be giving out some cool prizes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to come and hang out with us. And we will be silly. Um, also, Sandra, who came and hung out with us, 
brought us some new Skittles that we've never had before. So maybe we'll maybe we'll have some uh, some Skittle tasting going on. Uh oh, yeah, should be fun. Yeah, so I'm excited. We've missed you. The No Pants Friday, even though Wednesday sometimes turns into a bit of a No Pants because it's just more questions. But we do try to keep this one mm -hmm. a little bit more business. Related. Well, and to be fair, I'm not wearing pants right now, so well, you know. <laughs> yes, that is the Pride Parade in San yes. Francisco, in uh, the San Francisco one. San so. Francisco Pride Parade is that what we're going for? Yes, yes. because eBay their headquarters are in San Jose, which is like really close to San Francisco. So they have a big presence every year um, in Pride and they they go all They've out. They've had a float and lots of, all the employees go and stuff like that. So yeah. uh, we'll be we video the parade for you. We'll do we'll do uh, little snippets here and there. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Sure. Our Instagram it, yeah, is follow, down below. Each of us have Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a joint one, we have individuals. So definitely follow us on Instagram and we'll put that stuff. We'll do some live videos. We'll definitely um, check in with you guys. Take lots of pictures. We'll let you be a part stuff. of it. Um, but yeah, and there's going to be a bunch of eBay people there. So we'll try and get them to. Yeah, I, I'm going to say I probably wouldn't. Uh, we're probably not going to like video the whole parade no. because we're going to be part of it. So, you know, um, and I'm sure the parade is huge i've never been to i've San never Francisco, been to San yeah, and i i know that that is like the biggest one in the country mm -hmm. so I, i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little insane uh and we are going to be able to get together with our friend alexis that weekend as well so um we're going to be hanging out with alexis on saturday yeah we're gonna be doing all kinds of uh um fun san francisco stuff you know so all the all the touristy steps yeah she's gonna much. be our little tour guide pretty much Oh, uh, so Will Winford says, I know this is not eBay related. Could you guys do a review video on off strip hotels one day? Um, I mean, we're not going to, so one thing that we're going to be doing, I think next week we were talking about is pretty much the only time we're going to have time to do it. We are going to go out. We've talked about this before. We are going to go out and do like a quick little video. Um, the main things for people coming for open, especially people who've never maybe don't have a lot of experience traveling and are nervous about it or coming to open for the first time. So we are going to get some footage at the airport showing how to get um, an Uber or Lyft because it is a little bit, um, it, you know, there's the signs, you can figure it out, but some people get real overwhelmed when they're in a new place and it is a little bit wonky. So we're going to show that. So for people who are coming, who are nervous about it. And we're also going to show a little bit of Mandalay Bay just so people can kind of have a, a good visual of like what to expect. Um, as far as off strip hotels, I mean, do you have any like suggestions at all of like yeah. kind of more affordable ones? Are you thinking for coming to for open? I'm not sure what the question was for, just in general, or I don't know. I mean, there are lots of places to stay in in Vegas, and you know, you can stay off strip relatively cheaply, mm -hmm. um, and just take an Uber into wherever you know we're going to be if you don't have a car. There's plenty that are off strip that are that are inexpensive. There's some on strip that I wouldn't suggest staying at. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are pretty scuzzy um, that look good on online like anything else but um, like the stratosphere meh it's hit or miss uh, it looks like it's part of the strip but it's really the very very end of the strip and a good four and a miles from anywhere else that kind mm -hmm. of stuff in general for 40th birthday okay so off strip in general um, I would say for a 40th birthday I would say stay on Fremont Street Mm. There are some good hotels on Fremont Street it's that way cooler. Um, that are way cooler. You don't need a car. It, that's downtown uh, Vegas. It's not the Strip, but it, you still get that old Vegas feel. Um, and in that case, I would probably suggest the Golden Nugget is one of the good ones. Um, it's because it's been fairly recently renovated, and the prices are reasonable, and it's a, it's actually one of the really nice ones. Very cool. Uh, Red Robin reseller, Robin, a friend Robin, Robin, not open related, but I feel educated today with your ship video. Finally watched it. Thank you. Also learned about linking pirate ship to eBay and she is excited. So thank you for the super chat, a little bit. Super chat, super chat, she's super chat. Yes, and uh -huh. as Karen says, don't use Circus Circus. No, so, no. Circus Circus no, 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 is, no. is sketchy as... No. Uh, unless you're trying to pick up a hooker or meth. Or you're looking for a pimp. Uh, steer clear of yes. Circus Circus. Absolutely. Um, and then, oh, the other thing. So, Robin, if you don't, I don't know if you only do eBay, but Etsy, you can actually hook up Etsy to your pirate ship as well. I do mm -hmm. all of my Etsy stuff that sells. I ship through pirate ship. And you can connect it just like eBay. So Yeah, and it automatically awesome. uploads your tracking and yep. stuff like mm -hmm. that. So Yeah, for sure. Um. 
Uh, so Allison says questions. that we must, must, must go to San Francisco Pier and get porchetta sandwich from what? Rolly, Rolly Roddy? What is a por I what is porchetta? I don't know. Apparently it's something we must have. We're doing, know. you know, we, we've we've kind of given given um, Alexis like the, the our little list of the the few things that we want to do, and then otherwise we're like, wow, well, whatever, take us somewhere cool. Mm -hmm. We're kind of we're kind of putting it all on on her to, to I know. give us a good time. Sorry, Alexis, <laughs> we're making you tour guide. <laughs> but listen, we're super easy, so you know we'll we'll be we'll have fun doing whatever we do. Um, let me see. Uh, what kind of skittles did we get? I don't have them. Well, we got here, we so. got the the patriotic ones. The, okay. Yep. The red, the red, white, and blue, white ones. and blue ones. And then we got ones that we've never had before that have like watermelon flavor and banana flavor and like some other, um, she's scared of the, the banana ones. I'll try them. I don't really like banana candy overall, but I like the banana in runts. So we'll see, but we'll check them out. Um, she says, trust me. That's what, All right. That's what Allison All right. says. We'll see. <laughs> Alexa says, you've given me nothing. Hey, mm -hmm. we said we want to see the painted ladies. We want to see the bridge and that's about it. We want to eat some food. So whatever, we'll figure it out. Gold Coast is not too bad. Um, yeah, Cindy says off strip I stay at the Gold Coast. It's not too bad. It's affordable. It is affordable. Uh, it's kind of sketchy. I don't know how recently you've been there, but uh, the Palms is actually not bad, but the Palms is very much a party casino, so it's very, very young, loud, obnoxious crowd. Mm -hmm. um, so I wouldn't stay at the Palms, but uh, unless you want that. Yeah. Uh, so Donatella has a question she wants to know if we keep private ebay channel seems like a lot of high profile resellers do no if nope. you look down below i actually think your etsy is not down there but her etsy is just elder king panther so it's really easy to find um both of our ebay stores are linked down below and both of our etsy or my etsy stores linked down below and and i need to add hers on there um but that's everything. If you yeah, if you go and look at our look at our stores and look we at are our ridiculously souls, open. Yeah. If you look at our stores, that's it. We don't have a secret account that that like when we show our numbers on Sundays, um, th those are from those those four stores, two for each of us. Uh, and that's all there is. There's no other account. There's no, yeah, all I, mean, are on I understand why some people do that, especially if they have proprietary stuff. I know that rally roots does because one of the things that they sell is, 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 uh, you know, one store is for their thrifted stuff and one store is for their other stuff. And I understand trying to keep that, mm -hmm. you know, that niche market for yourself, especially when you're high profile, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but we, we don't, we only each have one store. I have actually a second store. We were just talking about this earlier today. I do have a second store. There's nothing listed in it right now. I had opened a second store years ago, uh, to sell X rated items that I, I had come upon a bunch of stuff and I just didn't want to mix it with my, yeah. Mix so it with my regular stock. Says that she's just getting started out on YouTube. I'm assuming like a channel and it's been recommended. Um, you know, here's the thing. I think if you are somebody, there's different types of things to sell, um, whether it's on eBay or Amazon or whatever. So if you're selling things where um, you need to protect your sources or you need to protect the types of things you sell, because then it, if somebody else sees them, they can just go out and source the same stuff. I can kind of under, I can understand that. Yeah, it just depends on what you sell. Like we if sell, you're selling all thrifted stuff, like we do. I mean, it, what? I mean, yeah. anybody at any time can go, it's you know it's not like these are like trade secrets anybody can go at any time on ebay and look at solds of like men's vintage t-shirts or anything that we sell look at what sells for the most and bam they suddenly know what makes money that doesn't really um so i i get it for some reasons and then there's other stuff where i think that uh sometimes it's it's more that people don't necessarily want people to know how much money they actually make right and that's their own business it's totally fine yeah one way or the other it's up to you uh, Frenchie, we've missed you. Frenchie. I can't wait to see you and meet you in a few weeks. Actually, I'm super excited about that. Um, let's see here. Oh, the there, was, there was somebody. I Peg, let me answer Peg's okay. question first before it disappears. Yep. Scroll up for yep. a second. Uh, Peg asked, "A poly needs to be less than 18 inches on a side to go soft cubic." That's correct. You can use your coupon. Uh, you can do the 14 and a half by 18 and a half. You do need, need to cut it or fold it down. I think it's 17. The, I think it's 17. If you do 17.25, 17. it will kick it out, of, out yeah. of cubic. So 17. You can fold it down or cut it down. Mm -hmm. uh, so somebody else had, had asked a question if, uh, oh, Heather, Heather asked again, is selling on Etsy easy? Um, Etsy is a little bit different from eBay. I would say it's a little bit different. So if you are only used to selling on eBay, there is a little bit of a learning curve just because you're just used to the way it is on eBay. Um, I would say if you were going in fresh to either one, I think Etsy is a little bit easier. 
Um, and so like I do all of my listing on eBay and then as I list on eBay, then I cross post it to Etsy, but I do think it's, it's relatively easy. It's not, there's nothing super complicated about it. So I really like it. Yeah. So Allison doesn't share her multiple quantity listings on Amazon. Again, that's because you don't want to invite somebody to go out and buy the exact same thing that you bought and, and undercut your Amazon. pricing. Yeah. So that totally, totally makes sense. I totally get that. Mm -hmm. And I understand why people that sell on Amazon, especially if they're private label, they don't share their information, um, any type of multi-quantity, anything or private label, anything, uh, because once you're able to find that type of niche, uh, you want to protect that. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that because, yeah. you know, when someone else can find it, that means they can undercut your pricing. And yeah. But if somebody like hides their store, that's like all of their thrifted items. I, I mean, yes, anybody can do whatever they want. I totally mm -hmm. get that. We are very adamant about us being as super transparent as possible when it comes to our selling and what we, uh, what we're, at, what our actual sales are, because we show our numbers and we want people to be able to to know that we can back up what we're saying. So, um, so you can at least say, you know, regardless of anything else in our lives, guys. Um, at the very least, you can look at our selling and say, okay, they clearly have some skills when it comes to buying the, the buying the items people want to buy and selling them for good amounts and, and coming out with, with good numbers because you're able to look at the evidence that we provide. Um, and so when it comes to questions about how to sell, I feel like we come with mm -hmm. some sort of uh, expertise on that to, to some degree. So. so Sharon, we look forward to meeting you at Open. And she says, Gary and I will see us see us at open, but they don't, Gary and she will see us at open. They don't share the Amazon store either. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, not at all. Not at all. And somebody like, you know, talking about like Rally Roots, like they have their eBay store and then they have, so some of their stuff is private and some's not. But again, like even though they aren't showing everything like we are, I think that they show more than enough evidence that they are successful at what they do. Mm -hmm. And so they deserve every bit of, uh, of people's, I guess, trust that they have some, uh, they have the knowledge to share um, that people can take and hopefully be successful themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, that's how I, that's what I think about it. Um, Alexa says street cred. Yeah, that's what it is apparently. So uh, Heather asked, how many years have we been selling? Um, I've been selling for, I've been on the platform for 20 years. I've been, um, this is my 20th year. Um, I have been, legit selling for 15 years and I've been full time for this is my 11th year full time. Mm -hmm. And my for me, it's three and a half. Yeah, Robin says someone posted numbers on Instagram the other day and I asked what the net was. I never do that. But I see numbers all the time with no additional info. Yeah, and I try to do that too. You know, I'm not, I don't do it like aggressively. But you know, I'll see people, um, uh, you know, post either piles of packages or like numbers like their 60 day numbers and people tend to just want to know what they sell. And I think it doesn't occur to people like, oh, I should be asking how much they paid for it. So what their net is, because it's really the cost of goods that are most important, because I think we all understand you make the money shipping costs. We all understand shipping costs and fees and stuff like that. But where the unknown is what they actually paid for the items. And that that's what gives you context. You know, and some people are, do, you know, some people will show something like a 60 or $70,000 60 day total and good for them. Uh but let's let's put your profit margin on that. Like that's you know if you're going to say that, it's not like you're selling all individual items. It's a different business model. And generally, if you're doing something like that, you're doing multiple quantities, and mm -hmm. your profit margin is much lower. Which is totally you're, fine. You're doing a volume, so it's a completely different thing. Um, but I appreciate when there's there's one particular seller. I'm not going to say who it is. That happens to be a drop shipper, um, and he's he's very open that that's what he does is drop shipping. And he's he's on Instagram. I have no idea who the guy is on a personal level, but he puts you know up his numbers all the time but people when people ask and they do people ask him in the chat he goes 10 percent, 10 percent, 10 percent. you know great you're i'm glad and i'm you're, glad you're that open about to share it. that because it's it's like to me that is really important because usually when people are sharing those numbers they're trying to communicate something mm -hmm. um and i think that it's as long as it's not just an open uh, you know just uh a no context flex let's put it that well way. yeah no exactly exactly because i mean there's a certain amount of, yes, there's a certain amount of us sharing our numbers where we're like, look at, look, we're doing really well. I mean, there's a certain amount of that that's like, you know, it probably, it makes us feel good when we have, when we have a good sales week to be able to say like, look at how much we made guys. Like, um, I, would, I don't know if I would necessarily call it for us like showing off, but yes, there's a certain amount of self-satisfaction that we get out of being able to show that we had were a good week if we're going to talk but, about it. Yeah. But we show, we show the costs as well. 
And sometimes we have to, you know, we'll, we'll go into a show and be like, you know, I'm not really that excited about showing my numbers because I did really shitty this mm-hmm. week. Um, but we have to show those too, because otherwise what's the point? Yeah. So, um, let's see. Jackie said, silly question. I just listed several items. I was not ready to list and they listed as auction. I'm trying to end them and it won't let me, hmm. it should be able, you should be able to end them individually. Has anybody like, has anyone bid on anything? Well, you can still, but even then, it. You, even can then you can end it. That's you can, true. It's just not recommended because you could get a negative, but right. I would, I would still do it if it was an accident. Um, you may have to do it on like laptop or desktop version. I'm not sure if you're trying to do it on your, um, on your phone. Um, I hate trying to use this stupid app on my phone. Um, it's just rotten, but if you may have to do it on your desktop, you should have to go be able to go in individually and go into, um, mm-hmm. your seller hub and then click on active listings. And then you can click on to the left of it. So you highlight that little check mark or that box next to that listing. And then you go to action and click end. Mm-hmm. So you should be able to do it that way. Yeah. Um, Liz O'Kane just said that we are her favorite. What? Hands down. That's awesome. We love you, Liz. Uh, thank you. We really appreciate that. Um, yeah. Uh, so Kane said something about people showing piles of packages. Listen, there are resellers out there. Who, you know, like I have like 2,200 listings. You have like 2,500 listings. There are some resellers out there who uh, probably we don't hear from because they're too busy making ridiculous amounts of money who literally have maybe a couple hundred listings, but because of what they sell, um, they sell really high price stuff. Like it just depends on what you sell. There are some people who they could sell five items in one week and still be selling us under the table and like, you know, making because it just, that's why we say like, well, there's another one, the like, context, like for really example, um, you know, some of the girls from reseller Re- revolution, Cindy and her husband, mm-hmm. um, what's her store's name? Uh, amazing taste, amazing superstore, taste, yeah. uh, amazing taste, just superstore, Cindy and her husband. My, I can't even wrap my brain around the numbers that she shares. Because she it's has like unbelievable volume. numbers. It's her and her husband and unbelievable numbers. And she sells, she has like a 50% sell through when you insane. look at, when you look at her numbers Mine's like and 10. she's, fantastic and mine is like 12. yeah so i uh, it's just a completely different business model and i don't quite understand how she does it but it works for her and she's does fantastic well and i don't think we follow her closely enough over time to, uh, yeah other people probably have a better but she's taught before better she's she's been on a couple panels at eBay yeah it's crazy like i mean i i've like blown away by it i mean i wouldn't want to personally i wouldn't want to work at that uh that level of volume she is very sweet also uh, you're right I, I i very much like all the girls that are part of that that channel right? yeah um uh, reseller revolution it's another excellent youtube channel what oh my goodness wait what Corey? what Corey? my favorite Corey. one 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 eight one five just threw out a 49.99 super chat are you gonna start crying yes He's going to make me cry. So Corey said, I was so sorry to hear about your bad bathroom experience. When I watched your last video, I commend you for sharing your experience with us. I was going to type more about how you sharing could help others, but I exceeded the word limit. And uh, so Corey, you're making her cry. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, she's not, she's on a, like very little sleep right now and she cries very easily, but seriously, that does not mean it was any we, less effective no. <laughs> or touching. But seriously, I do, I do cry. Corey, we really, really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. You know, I, as far as that whole experience goes, I have been contacted by somebody from the casino. I will say that they contacted me and said that they were going to be doing some things and then they would get back to me and they haven't really, nothing has really come of it yet. Um, I'm still working on it. So I'll give you guys updates, but I really, really appreciate you. Um, the apology that came from the person that contacted her, who apparently probably doesn't do anything but handle their social media complaints, uh, seemed sincere and said the right things that they were going to look into it, and you know yeah. it was not acceptable and not how they you know operate and stuff like that. Nothing else has been done other than that. that we'll see that what email. comes. So it. we'll see if they actually, you know, pull the video footage. He says, "Don't cry." <laughs> speak, speak to the you know the people that yeah. were responsible. You know, fire somebody. I hope. Um, I was able to tell them the exact time when everything happened and it's a casino. So if they try to say that they don't have any footage of it. I would say bullshit. Yeah. Um, because they, any casino, the exact they have, time they they have exact coverage location. of yeah. every single They don't have location time. of inside the bathroom, but they definitely have, uh, they definitely would have leading up to that. So <laughs> Frenchie, yes, that is, that is my favorite Corey. 
Barb, um, if you, uh, I don't, we don't really want to get into it all over again because we did just talk about it, but is uh, Katie addressed it in, in the Sunday, last Sunday's yeah, show? Yeah, the, the first, if you watch the first on, part. Yeah, the first part of the show if you wanted to go mm. uh, listen to that for a moment. But anyway. Basically, uh, bottom line, I went into a public restroom. A male security guard came in, uh, pounded on my stall door while I was mid pee, demanding to know if there was a man in there uh, because apparently my short hair is very confusing to people. Um, and then when I did come out, nobody would talk to me or even attempted to apologize for the mistake. So it was, it yeah. was, it was humiliating and, uh, it's scary. I mean, a little, you don't and, usually and expect scary. somebody, anybody to pound. I mean, that's like, it's just, you're not expecting anybody to like knock on you, knock or pound on your bathroom stall door when you were trying to go to the bathroom and especially not some dude. Um, but Anyway, it was inappropriate and possibly criminal. I don't know, but yeah, Kimberly, he's my favorite Corey too. <laughs> um, okay, so do we have any more? Um, <clears throat> I don't know, eBay business related questions sure, or anything, anything like that. Frenchie, go find the video at the beginning of the video from Sunday, from or Sunday. anyone that didn't know that it was yeah. it was not fun. Yeah. So yeah, Noel, my eyes are leaking too. I'm a I'm a big weenie. I cry at everything. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, oh, Charlene asked us earlier, are you doing a video soon on your oh. magical cleaning methods? Yes, we will pop one up uh, tomorrow, if not yeah, today. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try to get it done this week, especially so we can, like, go. Well, we'll try to get it up, like, this weekend, especially since we're not going to be yeah, and we're not going to show. Hmm, we're not going to do a regular show this, excuse me, this weekend, and we're not going to have a sourcing video because I don't think we're going to source this weekend because we just have a bunch of stuff to do before yeah. we go away, yeah. and we have camp is coming up very quickly, so... We've got a bunch of stuff to do. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Bridget asked, oh, thank you. That was an earlier question. How do you? How do I know to use regional A or regional B? So here's the thing. Most times that is not going to be a, well, it depends on where you live, but most times that is not going to be a, um, a good option for you as far as saving any money. So regional A and regional B is different depending on where you live. So, you know, um, when you're, the, the only way you're going to know is when you go to package your item and you put in your weight and your measurements and if it if it get when you look at your drop down for a priority it'll give you different options with different prices you should look and see if that you know is one of the lower prices if it's a lower price then you can and it fits in one of those two then use it that way um the thing is is that you know like as teresa just said cubic cubic shipping um has kind of replaced is better than and, regional A or B. Yeah, it has kind price. of replaced those two and offers better pricing. So um, I actually have not used uh, regional A or B. In well, Chris does say that, that she's finding that that A and B sometimes are lower with the eBay discount than the pirate ships cubic. So it's just something, it all depends on where you're located in the country. It really does. Um, and so this is one of those things you want to experiment with it. You want to play around with it. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, because it's gonna, yeah, you, you just, yeah. Uh, just let's see. Oh, OG asked, how do you connect Etsy to pirate ship? The same way that you did eBay. Um, you let me open see. up, let me look, pirate look ship and see, if and I can see find while it. we're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So Bridget said it was about a dollar 25 cheaper. So if it is, and you works that way, then that's, you just, you package it in that specific box and choose that label. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it works for people. Uh, for me, it's hardly ever a, a good option. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so I'll do a share real quick. Um, okay, so when you're on Pirate Ship, if you click on the settings right here, it's going to give you all these different things you can do. And here it says integrations. You want to connect to e-commerce platforms and synchronize orders. And so if you click on integrations, you can see mine already has eBay and Etsy. And so let's say you don't have any or you already have eBay, but you don't have Etsy. You just would go over here and connect a new source and you can see all the different options. And so a lot of stuff that a lot we of stuff do, I've never even heard of. Yeah. Like like Discogs. Some people use Discogs to sell like music and, and stuff like that. Um, but eBay, Etsy are on here. So you would click on the one you want and then it basically goes, it'll it should take you to your account and you would allow access see how it says allow access and then that should automatically sync everything up mm -hmm. so i'm going to go ahead and stop the screen share you know candace it's funny you say that someone needs to produce an ebay resellers magazine ebay used to have a newsletter mm -hmm. um it was email only i'm not sure if they ever actually mailed it out i can't 
are some of my other old timers that are here in the in the chat. But uh, they did actually used to have a um, it, a newsletter. eBay had a newsletter that came out. I can't remember if it was quarterly. I think it was quarterly. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Rick it wants to know if it if it bothers us that people who follow us um, on YouTube uh, watch our items, and he says he doesn't know if his watches are real or not. And sometimes testing prices is difficult. Uh, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I don't really think about it. I don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I I actually have so few watchers on the majority of my items. I I've never been one that has a ton of watchers. I don't know why. I tend to have maybe I have watchers on maybe two hundred or two hundred and fifty of my uh of my 2500 items mm -hmm. so i mean that's a very small percentage and i don't have tons yeah so it doesn't really i don't really pay much attention to it i mean i might get a lot of watchers on something and yeah some of those might be resellers but uh but i'm testing prices all the time and the thing is like even if i get a lot of watchers if i don't get any offers that's the thing is that if it's something people really want um you're going to start getting offers even if they're lowball offers and that's usually how you know, like, oh, this might be a hot item. Um, so you can still test it out. You just, yeah, you can't necessarily depend on like the number of watchers giving you that indication. Kimberly Wandel, mm -hmm. you think that's how you say her name? Wandel or Wandel? I don't know. Wandel. I don't know if it's Wandel or maybe it's Wandelay. <laughs> Says thanks for all you both do do for all of us. Y'all are my faves too. Mm -hmm. What? Throwing down those ten dollar bills. So are you going to need to take a nap after this? I am. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. We appreciate all of your guys' support. Let me tell you, when we were, we talked about this on Sunday, but when we were uh, featured on the eBay for Business Facebook page um, for Pride Month, uh, we were totally nervous about it, but we shouldn't have been because we have such awesome, awesome supporters and friends, and the response was crazy. It was amazing. Oh, I spent the entire day sitting at home reading all the posts and the comments on the Just posts and, all, and all try, trying to list, and I was crying the entire day to the point where my contacts were cloudy and I couldn't <laughs> see a damn thing. So It's true. So listen, we really, really do appreciate it because the thing is, like, no matter who you are, like, yes, I've got, you know, we've got sometimes some, some you know, unique challenges because of the fact that, you know, we are a same sex couple and it's like everybody has their thing. Um, and when, when you put yourself out in the public eye and you put yourself out there like we do with the YouTube channel, as you grow and as you get more attention, you also um, are gonna get some negative attention and that's just the reality of it. And people just latch on to whatever it is that stands out. Let's, let's say they decide you weigh more than you should, or let's say they decide your hair is too short or it's too long or, it's or too your pink. voice is too nasally, or they're gonna come up with some reason why they, and it's it really, none of it matters. It's all about them and them being miserable, um, but it's gonna happen. And so we love that we have such an awesome community of people that are so engaged with us and get interact with us so much and we love seeing all the comments and we try to reply to them as much as possible but we really appreciate you guys because you make us feel really loved and you make that tiny tiny little percentage of people who are sad and miserable in their lives that want to lash out you make them so insignificant and you drown them out completely because you guys are so great so we appreciate you a million percent yeah she said it i can't say anything better than that that was perfect uh, Grandma Cheap Cheap says, found a dress that's obviously altered but still has a size tag. What do you do? Measure and say disregard the size tag? Yeah. Yeah, I would put the original size tag probably in the title unless, unless it's been altered significantly. And then I would make sure to put in the little description box that size tag is not representative of the true size. Please see detailed measurements and then do the detailed measurements for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, so Candace says she's on oxygen, 36 years old, so she gets stared at and mocked and horrible things said to her daily. So to hell with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just, you know what? It's it's like I try to tell her because she tends to take things more personally. Um, if you can't already tell, I'm a big whatever. mush. But she takes things a little more personally when somebody is is negative or a jerk or whatever, and in real life too, and in relationships and friendships and stuff like that. And I just, I'm a very firm believer in usually it's much more something about them than it is about me. I mean, yeah, sometimes you got to self-reflect and be like, hmm, maybe I'm doing something wrong in my life. And maybe there is a reason why uh, people are having issues with me. But a lot of times it really comes down to um, they've got something going on in their lives. And maybe it's something they're really struggling with and we just don't aren't privy to that. And uh, so they're lashing out because they're really, really unhappy. 
Um, and then you can do, kind of feel sorry for them and then ignore them and move on. You know? Yeah, you're better at that than me. Yeah. Now, let's see. We had another question here. Oh, Heather asked, what store for eBay do you both have? We both have anchor stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though I don't technically need an anchor store, I'm probably paying $50 a month more than I need to. But for me, yeah. some of the other benefits were better. It gives yeah. me a little bit more flexibility. I was almost there. Same for me. One. When I when I got the the uh, Shine Award, one of the, the prizes was a year um, of free anchor store. And let me tell you guys, they knew what they were doing because they – they basically won me over and it's like, I don't want to not have an anchor store, <laughs> even though technically I probably am about the same as you. I'm probably about $50 or so, but I get the, the shipping supplies. I don't have to worry about um, any kind of listing fees because I have so many, so I can like end things whenever I want. I can sell somewhere whenever I want and I never have to like, pay you just attention. don't think about it. Yeah. I don't pay attention to it because I don't have to pay extra for that. So yes, I'm paying for it, but it's to me, it's worth it to not have to micromanage things. If you wanted to throw a bunch of things into, you know, mm -hmm. auction, you could. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know what? I think a lot of people, Robin and Noel, I'm one of those people that I, I just internalize everything. I, I, I have a lot of anxieties and, and I, I struggle with some with depression and, and PTSD. I've talked about this before. So part of that makeup for me is that I internalize um, everything and the anxiety causes me to overthink everything. So mm -hmm. that makes it a little bit, um, I guess a little bit more challenging because I probably make things worse in my own head. And then I, I just dwell on it more and it physically affects me. I make myself mm -hmm. sick to my stomach. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, meh. I'm going to go do something else. Yeah, she's <laughs> real good about, like, being the reality about that, so. Uh, and probably <laughs> some, probably sometimes too much to that degree because, I'm, you know, it's like you do, like I said, you do want to be able to, like, um, take stock in your life and, and be like, okay, there are other things I need to improve about the way that I the way that I am, the way that I communicate with people, the way I, I am in relationships with people. Like, you want to be able to do that. But it's to me, it's like, overall, it's a waste of time to, to let yourself be bogged down by other people's opinions of you. Um, and generally, I just try, like my good old buddy, uh, E.T., I just try to be good. He says, be good. "Be good." I just try to be good. You know what? We're gonna make. We're gonna mess up. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody, like if I'm crabby and and Vicky says something and I take it wrong, I might snap at her. Like everybody does. Everybody like makes the wrong choices and and how they deal with the situation or how they what they decide to do in their lives. Whatever, it's gonna happen. But as far as my intentions and what my motivations are, I do really try to just be a good person and consider other people and think about like how my actions affect other people. And I do my best at that, but mm -hmm. I'm not always successful, but Nobody that's how is. I like Nobody's but that's how, You're yeah, human. It's never going to happen. Um, let me see Chris Brown. How in the hell do you ship those anchors in the anchor store? Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Very hey easily. Oh, hey oh, put on sunglasses. Woo. That's so funny because she was like, I don't think I have time to go out and do any sourcing, but I think I'm going to run out of stuff to list. And I'm like, well, you know what? You do Speaking have. Speaking of anchors. You do have some things on the side of the house that you bought months ago. She months ago. She We even did it. We we did like a whole video. I was looking at our sourcing video. I fun. didn't buy them. I got them for free. So that's probably why it's not. But she got, and but big. guess who, guess who had to like love all these stinking things. I mean, they're like little anchors, but they're heavy. Okay. They're very, they're dense. like the 20, dense. 25 pound. Anchors. So seriously, guys, our whole side of our house has like, I don't even know how many of those, at least 10, if not more of these little anchors and all this stuff, which we're in the middle of a season when this stuff would be purchased. And she's, I have like, these big, wake, not, um, these wakeboard surfing things. It's summer yeah. stuff. I need to get it listed. It's so bad. She's like, oh, I'm gonna run out of things to list. I'm like, yeah, well, hmm, I wonder if maybe I don't know, if could go take some pictures outside. Just the know. crap that's on the side of the house. Which there was lots of eye We look like and... Sanford and Son on that one <laughs> spot inside of the house. Thankfully, nobody can see it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the real um, for people that do free shipping, do you include a restocking fee for returns? There is, you can no longer do restocking fees. Um, and so, but even before, I did not do restocking fees. Um, generally if I have something that is, uh, that is returned, um, I just sell it for a higher amount and usually I'm able to do that. So, 
Um, that's yeah. all stuff you just have to work into your into your business model and how you price things. Um, you, you know, every store, if you if you had a brick and mortar store, you'd have to deal with things getting damaged. You have to deal mm -hmm. with things disappearing. Um, it's called shrink. You have to deal with that, um, and you build that into your your business model. And so, um, Chris said, anchors make great prizes. That's true. <laughs> But then we have to ship them oh, for goodness. free. <laughs> uh, well, Kara, the only things I have outside are um, things for water sports. So they're yeah. outdoor things. I have a couple of wakeboards, some water skis, boat anchors, and some big water skiing dock month things. Any of you guys so, who were watching that video, it was months ago. Mm -hmm. Probably nine months ago at least. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Noel, hang in there, honey. If you want to chat, give me a call or send me a message. I'd mm -hmm. love to have you come and meet us up on uh, on friends and family and Carnival Volunteer Day at the camp. If you feel like making a ride, I think oh, that, yeah, I yeah. think that I think you'd really like to do that at camp. Uh, give me a message. Send me a message. Come and hang out with us. We'd love to see you. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else do we Ribbon have? Cheap Cheap says, "I wish I could source from San Francisco's yard and house." I bet that that's. I bet they. Can you would... imagine all the good stuff they have? Oh, yeah. oh, I, I know. Yeah. Denise wants uh, to know how you deal Deneen. with, sorry, Deneen wants to know how you deal with PTSD. Well, uh, you know, everybody's different. So uh, some for some people, it's going to be, uh, you know, therapy, talk therapy, any type of therapy. Some people, they're going to need medication to help. Some people that are going to need, uh, you need therapy to help teach you coping mechanisms and coping skills of um, uh, different ways, because everybody's PTSD is different. It's triggered mm -hmm. by different things and your um your responses and your autoimmune you know, response is going to be different depending on what your triggers may be. So I can't speak for anyone else, but for me, my triggers are, um, are mostly um, sensory. So it's different sounds and different smells that trigger me because um, some of you may or may not know I was involved in a fire 16 years ago. Anyway, uh, for me, it's there are certain sounds, uh, anything burning, the smell of a fire. I don't really smoke like alarm. to be around fire, smoke alarms. Um, the sound of fire engines and, and things like that. So for me, that's, um, those are my triggers. So for me, I've learned to practice different type of breathing skills and mm -hmm. very much mind over matter. And I, um, I may be having an anxiety attack or a panic attack inside. You'll never know it. Um, but I've just, I learned how to, I've learned over the years, just my own different coping mechanisms, but mm -hmm. everybody's entirely different. I certainly wouldn't give anybody um, advice on how to handle that. The only advice that I will give you is that if you're finding that it's debilitating in your life, then you really should talk to somebody. Yeah. And talk we've been hearing some really good things about what's that therapy called? Um, so the light therapy or it's eye, rapid eye movement rapid therapy. Eye movement ther we've been hearing good things about mm -hmm. that recently. Um, Marie, that is an awesome Maya Angelou quote. That is one of my favorite quotes. Do the best you can do until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you do what you need. You do what you need to do to get by. And I, again, I'm 16 years out. And for a lot of people, it's more recent. And I've done a lot of therapy. Um, I'm no longer in therapy, but I, I did a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot of things that were also very therapeutic for me. And one of those things that I continue to do is that I'm very involved in the burden community. Thank you, Susie. EMDR um, is that rapid eye movement uh, desensitization therapy. Um, mm -hmm. But for me, I'm very involved in the burden community and giving back and doing charity work. And I work with burden survivors. And so for me, that has been a huge component of my therapy uh, in general. So Absolutely the kids. Working with the kids, yeah, working with the kids and working with other other burn survivors, and that for me is just has what has helped me, and um, I I live for those two weeks a year that I get to go and, and do this kind of stuff because it grounds me. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, mm -hmm. really look forward to it. Uh, it is noon. Remember when you said, "Can we get, can we do a little shorter show today?" Because I'm real tired. Well, they were, these are important questions. I think, no, I'm just laughing because you said that. And then once yeah. the show is going, it's like, yeah, I think this is a good show. I enjoyed um, talking to you guys. Great questions. We like, we like getting into the personal stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy to talk about, but I, I don't know. I think it's important because um, you can't really, the thing about the kind of work that we do right now, it's, it's in the way, it, the way the work world is now where it's so integrated with um, social media and the social part of our lives it's, it's, it, there's always going to be like this gray area. And I, I think that, um, for a lot of us, you know, we're lucky that we have each other. Um, but a lot of you guys, uh, are solo when it comes to like this being your job. And so I think that the social aspect is really, really important. Mm -hmm. 
and, and knowing so, that you have a community. And so for, for me, I think that it's, it is helpful and it's enriching for me to be able to share all of myself with you guys and not just the business side. Um, because I think that it, all of it, all of it's all like messily so um, inter interconnected and mixed together. Mm -hmm. And, and so, and I'm sure you guys feel the same way or I would think you probably do. So anyway, that was a good sign. I need a nap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very low key today. I'm so sorry. I yeah. have so much to do. And I'm just, when I don't get enough sleep like this, I'm a waste the next day. So yeah, Robin says our support system is very important. It's absolutely very important. I'm very open about, as she says, I'm very open about the anxiety that I have and the, and the issues that I have. Um, and I'm very open with my community. And, and one of the things that I am super fortunate about is that I am able to give back and volunteer with that in that community that has built me a whole other support system, as well as a lot of my fellow survivors from that specific night. They're my family mm -hmm. and, um, not everybody gets that. So I, you know, I know that I'm very fortunate. Yeah, for sure. So, all right, guys, we got to get back to work. Uh, and you should probably should too. Just saying, mm -hmm. just saying it's boss up and list day. So. Um, if you're not in the boss Facebook group, you should be, if you can be, and the link is down below, come hang out with us. Uh, make sure you go, um, subscribe to, uh, um, thrift fever, uh, Rick Dorn's channel. Um, uh, he's mm -hmm. got some great stuff. Watch his, um, haul video. I think it went up the day before yesterday. We watched it yesterday morning, but I think it had gone up the day before. Um, great haul video. If you want to learn some new brands and stuff like that. Oh, great shoes. And great, great stuff that he found. But bottom line, just let's just, let's support each other. And so when one of us has something that they're working on, I think it's great that we can all come together and, and help them out and support them. Um, we love you guys and we will see you on Friday for a very, very special, very special, no, no pants, pants Friday, Friday after dark edition, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be 10 p.m. for all you East Coasters. So get in your jammies. Yep. Grab a glass of wine and come join us. Oh, maybe we'll have some wine. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Um, but anyway, we're going to have some really cool prizes. So you guys should totally come because we're not going to have a Sunday show. Don't forget. So Friday night, guys, we will see you then. And it's going to be fun. I might be a little extra silly. I'm not going to lie. It's a real possibility. Okay? So we'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye.